Hello and good morning. I am Nakash and uh, I am back again with my part 2 of uh, Microsoft Teams video. So in this video we are going to explore some more features of Microsoft Teams like how to schedule a meeting, how to share files and uh, what about the chat that we do one on one with team and one on one with members. So let's get started but first let me first int introduce myself. So here is a bit introduction of myself. My name is Nakash Ahmed. I'm an MCT. I was a part of Microsoft Student Partner for two point, almost two and a half years. Uh, I do have a Microsoft Certified Solution Associate certification and also an Azure Administrator AZ103. Uh, currently I'm working on as a system engineer in Qatar. I also know about uh, Office 365, Azure and .NET App Development. I run my own blog and a YouTube channel. Okay, so this was my little introduction. So let's get started now. So here is our teams. Uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to sign with your teams and uh, uh, how to navigate all the functions that we have. So, but what if you do not have a Microsoft Teams desktop application? So right now I'm going to show you how to download a Microsoft Teams uh, desktop application. So if you have Office 365, go to portal.office.com. So I'm signing with my work account and it's asking me my MFA. So let's put my MFA here. Okay, MFA is really important. It uh, is a, a second layer security. Anyways, so this is my default view of Office 365 portal. Here you can see an application called my Teams here. This is the online version of Teams. So click here and it will open teams.microsoft.com. You can note down this URL and directly get into this. So here I am in my Teams online, okay. So I already have a Teams desktop with me. So that is why it is showing me this message. So I just get it dismissed. So this is the Teams all right. It's quite similar with the desktop version, uh, but it has one feature. If you see in the left bottom, left bottom here, you can see the download the desktop app. So if you do not have any desktop application of Teams, just go to your teams.microsoft.com, sign in with your work account and download it from here. Okay, so it will download your desktop version of Teams. That's it. Okay, and it has the same feature and same functionality as you do in uh, Teams desktop version. You can join or create a team. You can see all your teams. You can chat and you can chat within Teams. You can share your files and everything. Okay. And you can also work with other applications as well. Okay, so let's move to Teams desktop. Here is uh, one of our chats uh, that you can see here. These are all chats messages that are saved. And uh, if let me show you one feature here in the formatting ones. Like if you see in the chat, so we have the full formatting features like uh, the uh, font font size and font styles. And if you are typing any big paragraphs or something, you can format with your headings, paragraphs. Okay. You can even clear all your formatting. You can justify all your text. You can uh, uh, write a quote or even insert a link. Okay. And here you can even insert a code snippet. So in the code snippet, I can write all the HTML, JSON file, whatever you have. And wrap a text here so that it will uh, give you a compact version. So if I select here C sharp, I can write a C sharp code here and it will insert it. So let's for example, take any C sharp code. And paste it here. Let's give it from here. Let's copy this one. Okay. I've selected C sharp already. 
paste it here, insert, you see, so you can see the formatting is done quite beautifully with your C sharp. Okay, and I can then hit enter to send this message or just click here. See, this message has been sent. You can expand your lines if it is uh, colla uh, collapsed or uh, expanded. It's not expanded. Okay. Here you can see on if I hover my mouse over the message, you can see some emojis which Microsoft Teams has like like, heart, and other emojis. You can also save this message so it will go to the saved messages. You can edit this message once again if you do not feel anything good, or you can click done. Okay. You can delete this message. You can mark as unread or share to Outlook. This is a really recently announced feature, share to Outlook. What it does is uh, like I have Exchange Online license and it will only work with Exchange Online license. So what you will do is you can click here, share to Outlook and it will open Microsoft Outlook for you right inside your Teams. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to share this snippet with Nabil and the chat conversation so you can see I have the code snippet is already uh, inserted by Microsoft Teams I can encrypt it and I can, even, I can even attach any other files and send it right away okay so this is how uh, my uh, send in Outlook works another feature like I wanted to show you is the meetings how to set up meetings if you see in the left I have the calendar so this is the same as the calendar we have in Outlook desktop application or online application. So you can see my calendar here. It's uh, week wise and I can choose the months from here and I can switch between work week or day week. Okay. Day view. This is the day view. This is the work week and this is the week view, the full week. So I've currently selected the work week. Okay. Now let's click on this new meeting button on the right top bar so you can see it's the same thing like you uh, schedule a meeting in Outlook so on the first I have a time zone you can select a time zone currently I'm in Qatar so I follow this UTC plus 3 so I can add title like uh, team session on YouTube I can attend uh, write the names of the attendees which are required and which are optional okay both are possible so here I can uh, write the optional users I can select when this meeting is will be here with the date and time the start time of the meeting the end time and and the end date and times so right now it's 9 30 to 10 so it means 30 minutes of the meeting I can switch with the all day, like if this meeting is will, will be going full day, like 24 hours or not. Okay. I can also do the recurrence of this meeting. Like I, I want to see, I want to have this meeting every month, every weekday or daily or weekly or monthly like this. Okay. Add channel. I can even uh, add a channel. So everyone in the, my channel will be notified with this meeting. I can even add a location if I want, like any room, any conference room that you have. And then I can write any agenda of myself. Uh, like uh, Teams session meeting overview of Teams functions and features like this. Once you're done, just go ahead and click send. So what will be happen? The meeting will be shared with the required and optional people. So I click send. So this meeting has been now sent. So you can see it is working now, it's processing. So when that is done, you will see your teams will uh, your teams meeting will be here. See, uh, sorry. So this team session on YouTube, just I wrote on the title uh, by Nakash Shaman has been set on Friday 5th from 9.30 till 10. Okay. So this is uh, my teams, how to set meetings on team. If I want to add it once again, 
I can edit my teams and even I can cancel my meeting as well. There are other meetings option which I will have uh, which will be op open on your teams online. Okay. So this meeting, this setting is particularly for this meeting, particular meeting only. So who can bypass the lobby like those ones who don't want to be in the lobby first and so who will be those? Uh, or these will be my people in organization or those who I trust or everyone. Like the best practice is that you, uh, but never a meeting has been sent, uh, has been sent to the invite, uh, to the required or optional people. Uh, you always should uh, uh, let those people to in your lobby first and then accept uh, approve them okay so i have selected people in my organization always let callers bypass the lobby announce when the callers join or leave so it will be it will announce when who will be joining or who will be leaving who can present everyone can present or only you because i am an organization i want only myself to be uh, the one who can present like present my presentation or desktop screen anything or if you want any everyone or a specific people you can just go it here so this was the teams meeting let me cancel this meeting so i can cancellation note here demo meeting so i just hit cancel so you can see it cancel and the meeting is not vanished from the client okay there is also one option called meet now this is a private meeting and uh, what it does is uh, it sets your meeting right away okay and uh, it opens up your team's uh, uh, video camera and uh, mic and uh, all you have to do is you have to write your team's meeting title here okay like this and I can even check my mic or speakers. My camera is all off right now. Okay. And other meeting options. So what will happen is I just do a join now. It will start a meeting. Okay. And waiting others to join. It means no one has been invited yet. So what I can do is I can invite right away from inside the meeting. Like here. So what will happen is it will call Nabeel. But he is unavailable right now. So it will show you unavailable. Okay. One of the feature we have uh, recently announced is uh, whenever you are in the meeting, you can download the attendance report here. Okay, like this. So it will download who will be who has been in the meeting. Uh, it is uh, the best practice is for the teachers who are uh, taking their class online, and they can uh, download their attendance list from here. Okay. And in the meeting, I have some features like this is the timer, the duration of the meeting the camera on or off, the mic feature which is, has been mute or unmute, the share screen feature, these have some more features here. So let's start with the share screen, I can share my desktop, what I options I have, I can share my desktop here, I can share only the particular windows or if I have opened any files currently right now like uh, any powerpoint files, any excel file, I can share only those files. I can even set applications like Microsoft Whiteboard here to engage or have an interactive session with my teams. Okay, so this is these are all the options I have. Include system audio. Uh, what we will do is if you check this, uh, so during the meeting, uh, the teams will be uh, recording all my systems audio like the mic sound and everything. So, but this is uh, recommend preferred not to uh, check because it will uh, bring any uh, bring some noise. Okay, we have another option like uh, device settings here. You can choose your devices. What if you have another mic or another camera? Private viewing this setting is what is uh, just turned currently on. What we'll do is uh, if I share any uh, presentation and I check this on, what it will do is uh, the participants who will be in the meeting they will be interacting with your uh, uh, file that you have been sharing. Uh, on their own they can move their slides on their own and they can it's not uh, dependent on which slide you're on uh, as an organizer but they can also interact with the slides uh, with themselves okay we have meeting notes uh, to take notes this will open one note max of one note to take your meetings uh, meeting notes to enter full screen just enter full screen it will open up the full screen 
we have a show background effects uh, but this is also a new feature here so this will these are all the tech custom uh, template made by microsoft teams so you can just apply those and your camera will be on automatically and background effects keypad if i have to dial something right away i can dial the numbers so they will be joining they will join the meeting start recording feature i will i can then uh, record this meeting because i am an organizer and i am the presenter i have the right to uh, start the recording uh, well i can also manage the permissions who can start the recordings but i am not showing you this uh, currently in the permission this will be in my next session okay stop recording by the way one more thing like uh, if you stop the recording it will save in your microsoft stream so you must have a microsoft stream license in order to uh, get this video on microsoft teams end meeting this is a new feature what we will do is it will end the meeting right away because i am an organizer so I, I have this option and i can end this meeting anytime i want like if i do end meeting and click cancel it will end meeting whenever you are right in the middle of the meeting you can end this meeting okay so these were some options for my teams meeting uh, one more thing i wanted to show you one last thing actually is the files feature the files tab if i am in the one on one chat with the user uh, with my organization member so what it will do is if i go here in, in the build profile i can see the file section so in the file section it will open the one drive uh, okay so in the one drive i it, this, is, this is the file that i have shared with nabil so actually this is my one drive actually so i have shared with nabil so uh, the one point to mention here is if you are sharing files one on one with members uh, it will be shared and saved with you in your one drive but if i am in the teams like in my teams i go here like right now i am in a team and in the channel journal channel i go files now if i share any files with my team in the channel it will go in sharepoint library so here is a sharepoint library okay you can see it here open in sharepoint so this file has been shared on the uh, sharepoint library for this channel but if i go in my teams for one of the user sorry in the chat one of the user and i click files this is one drive of myself one drive for business okay organization tab this will show me the hierarchy of who is nabil and who is reporting to activity will show you the activity of nabil with me or in the channel any any activity of nabil's in the plus tab you can add any connectors or applications that you want uh, like OneNote, excel any pdf file any reports that you have like power bi you can pull those off in your channel any power apps that you have you can also uh, uh, bring your power apps here your PowerPoint applications, your Word file, your visual diagrams, you can manage those as well in your teams. Okay, so let's end our session here and uh, uh, I will be back with the part three of my teams meeting where I will be showing the Microsoft Teams admin center because for the administrator, there are lots of responsibilities to manage permissions, to manage users, to manage teams, to manage policies and everything. So uh, goodbye from me right now and uh, for in for this uh, video session i hope you like it and please like and subscribe my channel as well uh, stay tuned for the next video thank you